like you said, it's, it's physically impossible for the official story to have taken place. Like physically, like the physics don't work. If you whacked an airplane into a building, it wouldn't crumble into a million pieces. It's like if you punched me in the face at your murder trial, if I split into a million pieces, you'd go, wait a minute. I didn't come from a punch in the face. I thought maybe I'd, you know, blacken his eye or something. But it's physically impossible for the official story to have taken place for a number of reasons. And so lots of credible people have spoken out. Um, but that's on 9-11, and then there's many other issues, which we all know governments and corporations are corrupt. People just, some people look a little deeper into it. And uh, as Canadians, we have uh, a great country, but we're all a little bit worried about the future. <clears throat> Most of us are. Alexander the Great wanted a world government, Hitler wanted a world government. The current global elite, sort of the Anglo-American establishment, they want a world government. So you can see the pyramid symbol here. This is what they want. This is upside down to represent my opposition to it. But they want themselves at the top, seeing everything with the cameras they're putting up in the streets and so on. Um, and then us at the bottom, sort of futilely. China is the global UN model for the world. So the, the, the global state is a capitalist communist merger, and that's what's happening here. So we're trying to stop it. We're trying to say, hell no, we don't want a world government. We have enough trouble with Ottawa. <laughs> This wasn't out in the open, this march to world government. So a lot of their system is based on, on lies and on secrets. So if we expose those secrets, then there's a very good chance that we can stop it. Because the thing is, what's not, what you're not taking into consideration, the smallest population on earth has the most power. Well, we only have 30 million people here. We have the second largest country in the world. Well, I don't think they're, they're under 14 million, and there are things that are set in motion that cannot be stopped. I don't think it's the Jews, though. I actually think it's the royal family. I think it's the British Empire. I think they ran the world for 500 years and never stopped. No one came along and took their stuff, right? And I think it's them and their central bank set up the American Central Bank, and, and their, their, the Queen is the worldwide head of Freemasonry. And Remember this. Where civilization began, civilization will end. Not the world. Civilization, I'm talking about. The land of Shinar, where it started, it will end. As it's been prophesied, it will take place. If we're vaccinated in the meantime, then we're in good shape. We're in good shape biblically. Look, karmically, if we save a few kids from getting vaccinated and, and, and damaged from the vaccines, then even if we die, God will say, well, you were doing something right, as opposed to you were just waiting till the end. I mean, that's the thing. The New World Order, which is the sort of name for this sort of group of rich people around the world um, and what they want to create, what they do is they've taught us to say there's nothing you can do. They've given us all these explanations. Religions, including Christianity, all they do is sell afterlife salvation for their own afterlife salvation. Like, you know what will happen after you die? You have to listen. It's like, do something here and now. Christians 200 years ago freed the slaves. They helped free the slaves. You can, you can take religious principles and apply them to the physical world you live in. It's only a temporal order that's being set up. Even though it's global, it will fall. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed to fall. I hope so, sir. I wish us luck on that. Guaranteed. Go right back. Look through the Hebrew scriptures. Look through the Hebrew scriptures. Huh? You know what? I personally, my big issue is I don't want it to get messy. I mean, I think we're going to win, and I think blah, blah, blah. But if they're trying to kill 6 billion people, and then we beat them and they kill 3 billion people, that's still too many. So we just don't want this to get messy. If it is prophesized, if it is whatever, it works on a, on a, on a secular level, it works on a religious level, you got to get the word out about the New World Order and figure out how to stop them. If we can't, at least we did the right thing while we were here. Peace.